Welcome back to Culinary College. This week we are celebrating Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna be making one of my favorite Thanksgiving things to do. So I'm going to be making my rosemary olive oil rolls from scratch. So these are such an easy like recipe with very limited ingredients that you can do. Um, the only thing I say is that you have to have some patience but let's get started with our ingredients. So today you are going to be needing bread flour, coarse salt, rosemary, rapid rise yeast, olive oil, and warm water. All right, so to start, we are going to be mixing all of our ingredients together. I'm gonna push all this stuff off to the side. Oops. I'm gonna start off with two cups of warm water. and I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of rapid rice yeast. It's gonna be a little bit more than one package. I'm gonna pour that right into my warm water. And you're gonna to wanna to use warm water so it like activates the yeast, so it'll make your bread rise. I'm just gonna mix this up. I don't got a whisk today, so I'm gonna use a rubber spatula, because that works too. All right, into our warm water and yeast, I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of coarse salt. I think I have just sea salt here. You can use kosher salt. And to this, I will be adding three-fourths of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna make sure that this is accurate. There we go. Pour that in here. Awesome, oops. Oh well, <laughs> mix that together. They will separate because water and oil don't mix, but it'll all mix together when you add in your flour. Next, I'm going to chop up three tablespoons of rosemary. I got this from my garden this morning, so. Yay. Fresh rosemary is best, but you can use dried rosemary. Awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna ch roughly chop up the rosemary. It doesn't have to be like minced or anything. Just like roughly cut it up. Awesome, and I'm just gonna throw that right into my mixture. Okay. And lastly, we'll be needing four and a half cups of bread flour or a pound and a half of bread flour. So you can add a little bit more if the dough is too sticky, but um, just start with four and a half cups. One, two, three, four, and a half. I'm just gonna use my regular cup measure for the half. I'm gonna stir this. This will get very hard to stir. So just stir until you can't stir anymore. So now that I have something that resembles a dough, I am going to lightly flour my surface. And I'm going to roll out my dough. Just like that. And I'm going to knead the dough for about five to seven minutes. And if it's too sticky, you can add a little bit more flour because it should be like soft, but it should be elastic. All right, so I just kneaded my dough for about five to seven minutes, and now I'm going to put the dough back in the bowl. I'm just gonna lightly grease the bowl with olive oil first. Lovely. I'm gonna spread it around with my rubber spatula. Then I'm just gonna put my dough into my bowl, and I'm going to cover this and let it sit for 60 to 90 minutes. All right, so my bread dough has been sitting covered. Make sure, I don't know if I said that before, but make sure you cover your bread dough. It's been sitting covered for the past 90 minutes and it has definitely doubled in size. Like that. 
So I am just gonna roll this out onto the table. Boop. Gonna roll it out a little bit. Into a ball. And now I'm going to cut this into 16 pieces. All right, so I have my 16 pieces cut out and now I'm just gonna roll them into nice little balls. Just nice little bread rolls. And you wanna try to make them like as even as possible. Um, just so they cook evenly, but if they're not even, completely even, that's okay. I don't think all of mine are even either. <laughs> all right, so we have got our uh, lovely little bread rolls all ready. So I'm going to put some on a pan. I'm gonna spray the pan first. So I usually do like eight per pan. I only have one pan today, so some are gonna sit on the counter for a bit. I've got bread on the pan, I've got bread on the counter. I'm gonna let these rise for 30 more minutes just for them to get nice and puffy and then I'm going to cook them in the oven. So, I'll see you then. So now that I have covered these and they're gonna sit for 30 minutes, I am going to preheat my oven to 450 degrees. All right, so it has been a half an hour and our oven is preheated at 450 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover off of these. And before I put them in, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of coarse salt on the top. You don't wanna to do too much because it will overpower it, but a little bit is so good on these. With these all nice and salted, I think they are ready to go into the oven at 450 for 20 minutes. All right, so I just took all of my rolls out of the oven and they look so good. You wanna take them out when they're golden brown. These took actually about 15 minutes, so just make sure you watch them. Once they're golden brown, they're pretty much ready to come out. All right, so we have our buns and they just came out of the oven. They look great and I am so excited that I got to make this Thanksgiving recipe with you. Super, super easy, super, like easy to make all the dough and all this stuff. You just have to be patient, but it's always a good thing to bring to Thanksgiving. But anyways, I have been Jenny Frechette and you've been watching Culinary College. Please let us know if you tried making this at home. We'd love to hear from you and be sure to follow LCTV on their socials as well as Culinary College on our socials at The Culinary College on Instagram and TikTok. I shall see you next time. Happy cooking, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>